Staff Cadet, Petty Officer Vance, who was a second class Petty Officer from Courageous, served as our female Staff Cadet, and right in there with a hammer any chance she got. She has this knife with her name engraved on it, so you know she's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Midshipman Joe Jackson, who was our division officer, um, had been a, a sea cadet, worked his way to chief petty officer, and is now back as a midshipman. Um, my first officer that I wanted to introduce is Dustin Jackson. He is an instructor. He is the guy wagging you in. Here he is. Dustin was our operations officer. So any kind of movement that we needed, needed logistics or whatever, everything, there's a saying I have, everything goes through ops. So the operations officer was very busy, slept his head in the mud for nine days, uh, 11 days. Um, my uh, medical officer I already mentioned, the XO, uh, Ensign Jackson. Ensign Jackson, fantastic. I don't even know, I can't even begin to tell you how much work that she's done, as well as uh, Instructor Ortiz, both of them. We're very, very concerned about the females, the interaction, et cetera. I assure you, moms especially, uh, this was a very properly done training. We have very proper young ladies here. Instructor Warneth, training. Instructor Warneth is, was the chief of lifeguards here in Daytona Beach. He's within the Navy and the Coast Guard as a swimmer. I have never met anybody that knows so many people. <laughs> Everywhere we go, somebody knows why. He is a uh, very highly recognized person here in the Cocoa Beach area and um, really um, served us well. And none of this, none of this would have happened without this gentleman, Jack Moore. I'd like to give him a round of applause. <laughs> so uh, Mr. Moore owns all this land and a bunch of it around. He's uh, been a businessman here in the Cocoa area for a long time. And one of the things that he's trying to give back to the community is a place that this can happen. He is supported more than I even recognize by the business community here. And uh, we are here really by his grace. I can tell you that the vision of having a regional United States Naval Sea Cadet training area is coming to fruition thanks to Mr. Moore. There are going to be improvements here. There, you know, this area is uh, the vision that I shared with him uh, was to have an area that all of the Sea Cadet units in the entire southeastern United States could use. And he is the man who has offered so much uh, to your children and to others to make improvements here so we don't have to sleep with our heads in the mud, but we can just play in the mud. <laughs> so those, those, that process continues. And uh, we're very appreciative, Jack. Um, we've been meeting for a year to make this training happen. Wow. One year. Mm -hmm. And uh, we really, we really sincerely appreciate that. Um, I don't want to put you on the spot. Anything to say to the cadets? No, I think you will. That's pretty well said. Anyway. Very well, sir. Who <laughs> y'all, Mr. Moore? Who y'all? Who y'all, Mr. Moore? All right. <laughs> so now I'm going to introduce our, our keynote speaker. Um, Rear Admiral Justice served 37 years in the United States Coast Guard, leaving as a two-star Rear Admiral. He uh, was a two-and-a-half-year aide to the President of the United States and is very, very busy uh, with a number of projects, one of which um, is the Port Commission seat. He's doing 80 houses a day to personally interact with the people in this community. Um, a true patriot and volunteered his time to come out uh, to address the cadets and to address you. So without any further ado, I'd like to introduce our, our keynote speaker, Admiral Justice. All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's, uh, it's really my privilege to come out here today and uh, to have the opportunity just to, to recognize the accomplishments of, of the cadets here. And, and to thank a few people uh, as well. Uh, first and foremost, Mr. Moore, thank you so much for this, uh, this opportunity here. And I, uh, thank you. The, uh, you got you to have a place. You know, it, it starts with that. So, uh, and, and, and you've done that. So that's a wonderful thing. 
the um, uh, parents, it's a big step. It's a step to let your uh, youngster go for a week. Uh, you know, uh, some of them probably for the first time. And so uh, I think that, I think it's a good gesture on your part. Show some confidence, and I guarantee you, it, it was it was worth it, and it was some time well spent. Um, command cadre staff, uh, good job. That man, that's it, you got to have leadership to, uh, to to keep these guys uh, rolling and, and, and going. And so that's a um, uh, I want to commend you all. But but really most importantly, the, the, the reason I a chance to come out here today is just to congratulate each and every one of you all. Um, we're getting through this. There are uh, a lot of ways to, to get life lessons. Okay, some people get life lessons. Um, well, you can you can be in a band, you can be in a sports team, you can be um, uh, just a numerous way, Boy Scouts, whatever, whatever, Girl Scouts. There's a lot of ways to, to get your life lessons. This is uh, this is one of them. I think this is a pretty darn good way of doing it. I think the opportunity to to come in as an individual. To get some training and then work as a team to uh, strive to get some accomplishments done is a, uh, is a big step. And, and you learn that you're, you're better together than you, you are by yourself. And I think that's, uh, that's a life lesson that you want to learn now. And, uh, and unfortunately, you know, there are some people who never, never learn that life lesson. And uh, that's just too bad. I, I do also, uh, I do want to take a minute to recognize you. You had a lot of support here from some local people, right? And I'm just yes, going to say those people name Amber Feed and Seed, Travis Hardware, uh, Coco Army Navy, Brevard, um, uh, the Sheriff's, Brevard Sheriff's stepped up, uh, Southern Reynolds, Coco Fire Department, Holiday Inn, and most importantly, the, the Tiny Turtle in Coco Beach <laughs> providing the chow is, uh, is, is a big deal. So that, that's, that's appreciated as well. But uh, with those thoughts, let me just say that, uh, you know, it, Took a, while, a long time for me to get to, to where I ended up in the, in the, in the Coast Guard, and it was it was a, a wonderful, exciting uh, ride that you know, culminated in, you know, in, in making a, a flag rank. But it, it's, you got to start somewhere, and uh, I commend you all for starting right here and getting through a week of uh, bugs and rain and, uh, and mud and uh, and having a lot of fun. And I would just uh, implore and commend you all to stick with it, and, uh, and, and whether it be. Sea Cadets or ROTC or, or whatever other uh, endeavor that's beyond just yourself and your little interests. I think that's that's the way to go. So with that, good luck and let's congratulate these people. Thanks a lot.